to Jerusalem. Why go tomorrow when you can go today? I look cute today. Why go tomorrow when I look cute today? So I got a late start. I left the house at like 10 o'clock. I'm actually back because I just came to get my charger. But I left the house at like 10 o'clock because I had to get my phone charger. My key card, my phone, and my instructions. What is this? This is a little hostel that I'm at. It's called the Spot Hostel. But I don't know. I don't I don't know if I can recommend it to a friend. It's I don't know. So we're going to Jerusalem today. This is probably not the best idea ever. So I'm not even supposed to be crossing the street right now, but I definitely am. Most people go to Jerusalem super early. This is supposed to be a really good restaurant right here. But I just got like cheese bread, eggs. I don't know, it's like this bread with egg and like four different types of cheese, but it was like sour cheese. But okay, so most people go to Jerusalem super early at like, I don't know, super early. I left the house at 10 o'clock. I went to go get breakfast, which was, I will show you guys what I got for breakfast. Um, it was really good and I sat and ate breakfast for like an hour But I'm just trying to give you guys the intro of the day um, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea what I'm doing. What about those list of dangers? And then I asked him, he's like, there are no dangers And I'm like, but you just said there's a list of dangers that you're gonna write down And then he's like, no, there, there are no dangers. It's okay. He just scribbled this thing down for me Which I appreciate his scribble, but I can't even read his handwriting. I don't even know what it says That is all I know. I don't know anything else. I don't have Wi-Fi. My battery's gonna die I also want to do it for me, so I'm just gonna go to Jerusalem at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And when I was eating my pancakes, the guy was telling me, he's like, Yeah, no one really goes at 12, he's going in the morning, and then he's saying it's some type of holiday. But then I was also reading online that, like, after prayer, they bomb and everything, so I'm like, What the fuck? I'm not trying to be like a tourist and being in the wrong place at the wrong time or something. But how about I not talk about this and just actually go and see what happens? And I feel like I, I'm like the, I'm not gonna say I'm the worst traveler, but a lot of travelers that I met, they have everything planned out from when they get to their hostel, from the airport transportation to this, and they have like all their months of travel planned out. Like every single plane ticket, every single bus ticket, every single Uber ride, every single tour booked. Me, no, literally I just woke up and I'm like, okay, today I'm going to Jerusalem. No one does this, no one does this at all. And like I really wish I kind of was better because I don't think Israel is the place to be not planning anything out especially Jerusalem and their holidays and their prayer days and this and that and I'm not trying to be bomb. I'm going to Jerusalem though at 12 o'clock and no one goes to Jerusalem at 12 o'clock so let's go to Jerusalem. It's like an hour ride so I will be riding for like an hour. Bus station right here and I need to be on the other side of the street and I, there it goes. So I just missed the bus because part of me was like, I was there, but then I was like, what if it's not that bus? So I was just like, it's probably on the other side. This is no 55 on this side right here. I'm supposed to be on this bus, but I can't cross the street. I was already on this side of the street. I don't even know what direction, but whatever, it'll be fun. I don't know, I paid 55 for it, which is expensive. But apparently it's 16 shekel each way and 18 shekel coming back. So he said 50 would be fine. 55, I put 55 shekel on it. So now I will wait for the other 55. I stay right at the port. My hostel is directly at the port. So that's pretty nice. It's a really nice port. I like it better than the city center. And it's got a nice little beach to it as well. So yeah, the 55, yeah, here's where I'm going. Yeah, I don't speak Hebrew. I love how people start speaking Hebrew to me and I'm just like, I don't know, like like these girls are speaking Hebrew and people think that, I, I guess I passed like African or something that I speak Hebrew. But no, I don't speak any Hebrew. Okay, so peace, let me say my battery. She said there I tell you there are tech cool for Arabic and Israeli. Uh-huh. They're so strong. Uh, you're not allowed to entrance to the hotel. So they close everything in Jerusalem. 
everything is closed. Yes, everything is closed. <laughs> Don't go, you cannot inside to the old city. Ah, tomorrow maybe? Yes, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow a day for holiday for the Arabic. Ah. The Arabic holiday today. Tomorrow no have a holiday, so they don't make balaban tomorrow. Ah, not good to go today. Yeah, so beautiful. Ah, thank special, you. Special, special stone. Thank Never you. see like this in Israel. How? <laughs> She said she needs somebody to take care about her. Ah. Me tapele ti nimu se me tete. You know somebody before you go, somebody who looking for a job. Ah. Looking for a job, your friend. She live here. This is the house we live here. Number eight. This is the street. You see this is the first street? Hi. Maybe you have, you have somebody, friend of you, looking for work, fresh money, everything here. Ah. You want to work? You want? No, I. California. Yeah, I, I'm leaving. Uh, you don't have friends to stay in Israel? Oh, this is 55. Yes. Okay, hello. So, I don't know what the I'm doing. I was meeting some people outside and they were telling me like he asked if I wanted a job and I don't, I don't know what they were talking about. But he said don't go to Jerusalem today and the lady, I guess she has like special needs and so she can't really speak. And she's like, no, no, don't go today, don't go today. And I'm like, why? And they said something about it's on the news, the Arabic or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I did just put $55 on this stupid little card. And now, if I don't even go, he said, you don't see it on the news? I said, no. So I think I need to like, maybe use Wi-Fi and go and see. Because if something is going on in the news where it's like a really big problem and everything is closed down, the hostel guy, he did say, he said, I'll write down all the dangers for you. And then he switched it and said, no dangers, I don't have time, bye, there's no dangers, go. I just, I just feel like, you know what, it's probably not even, why don't I just not go and find something else to do today. Like, their eyes got so big, they're like, no, don't go. So like, I'm not trying to get like bombed up or something. But I read when I was doing some research, like after prayer, sometimes I'll do like bombing. So I don't know if I should go and just be like, fuck it, or if I should and get the experience, or if I should just be like, no, safety first. I don't really care. I mean, I don't know. Let me just turn my camera off. I don't have my microphone. And I don't want to waste all my battery showing you guys bus trips and stuff like that on the way there. And also, I don't want to draw any more attention to myself with cameras and looking like a tourist and lost. And so I'm just going to videotape when I get there, if I get there. So here's the deal. I'm not at the, I got off the bus early. I'm like probably like a 15 minute, 10 minute walk maybe to the stop that I need to get off at. But I saw that there's a McDonald's and I'm going to stop and use their Wi-Fi to Google if it's okay or try to research like anything on the news. I didn't do my research and apparently something just happened in Jerusalem. The guy was telling me like something happened today and I didn't know this so I'm trying to figure out if it's safe for me to go or not. McDonald's, use their Wi-Fi, and I googled it, and like at 4 o'clock in the morning in America is when they release the article. So they're releasing this article at 4 a.m., and this happens around 11 or 9 a.m. here. It happened after the prayer, and something major, like, I mean, major enough for me not to go, like major as in like a... I don't know, I think they were trying to let a Jew in and everyone kind of like teamed up on them and they started like, 
tie. I don't I don't know exactly. I don't get the wrong information. But so I, I didn't go. I didn't go at all. I am in Old City and I'm just gonna walk around. A better place than hello. <laughs> but my intuition was right. Get something to drink. I just ate. I had the avocado pancakes for breakfast, which is actually pretty decent, although a big ass hair was in the pancake and I just pulled it out and I continued to eat it but like fucking gross and they were really nice though like the guys are super super nice I tipped them and everything but pull the hair out my food like how many times have I said I have so many videos where I actually talked about hair in my food like I don't know why but it's always hair in my food like the when I was in Santorini I got ice cream and there was hair in my ice cream after I finished like eating half the scoops and the guy told me he's like we don't have any hair but he has like a full blown beard and I know that I have dread so it's kind of hard for me to be like there's hair in my food but no, like me having dreads, like just because I have a lot of hair doesn't mean my hair just falls out. No, like my hair is not going anywhere. Like my hair is not shedding. Like it's fucking dried it up. If it was shedding, which it isn't, it would be long blonde hair. But this is a short brown hair and I don't have short brown hair. So would, would, I just ate hairy ice cream. And then I got hairy pancakes and I just kind of chuckled. I just kind of laughed. It was like a small piece of hair. I still ate the pancakes. It was really good. I said my prayers. I don't think I'm gonna die off a piece of fucking hair, although it's kind of gross, but whatever. It was actually good, and I had eggs. There was actually hair in the eggs, too. It was like a piece of lint, and I still ate it, whatever. I feel fine. I'm not like about to croak over and die. I'm just thirsty at this point. Also, I had a Greek salad at the mall. There was a little mall at McDonald's. We had to go through security just to get in the mall. Like, we had to go through like a scanner just to get inside. Um, yeah, I had a Greek salad and orange juice, which was so, so good. The Greek salad was the best. Um, yeah, so now I'm just thirsty. I'm gonna get something to drink and walk around.
is mom and daughter right here. They're so cool. She said, she's an accent. She said, you look very, very cool. We like your look. And just kept walking. That made me smile so much. The buildings and the architecture that's the same thing I don't think I'm gonna walk all the way down there to the beach but over here it looks very very nice Stay. 